and they act out because of it. So that Dr. Phil and parents send their kids here for these people to, I mean, for the kids to actually get more traumatized. That's not why people send them there. Well, they don't know. No, I'm saying they don't know they're sending their kids for here for this. But when you send your kid to this facility, your child just gets more traumatized. It's called Turnabout Ranch, right? So my mom just showed me this article. Woman says she was punished at Turnabout Ranch for after reporting a sexual assault. So I haven't really talked much about my time there, but there was a time over about two and, about two and a half weeks. There was about uh, there was a time around like two and a half weeks where simply for talking upstairs in the loft where all the girls would sleep, for talking there, right, for talking and um and singing songs together, we were forced to sit outside in the cold. They would feed us they would feed us foods they knew we specifically didn't like. They would make us pick up horse shit. They would make us walk in arena. They actually made me walk the arena, me and the other girls, for for five days straight without letting... Now, you're supposed to let the kids... Even if they're in trouble, you're supposed to let the kids change their clothes every, um, every, 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 every day, and then they're supposed to shower every three days. They did not let us shower. They did not let us change our clothes. They didn't, I don't even think they let a shower over the whole two weeks. They, they made me walk in the arena, and I got athlete's foot from it. They wouldn't let me change my socks. I got athlete's foot from it, and I had a UTI. I told the nurse I had a UTI from them not letting me change my underwear. I told them I had this UTI, right? I told the nurse. She said, you're just looking for an excuse to go to the hospital so you can run away. Now, meanwhile... This place, this whole facility is in the middle of Escalante, Utah. There, and even the hospital, it's a small town. There's only about 500 people that live there. This, this town is very small. Like I said, it's only about four blocks. The hospital is in the same area where, now this place is literally two hours from any main city. If you try to run anywhere, you're either gonna get eaten by coyotes or you're just gonna fucking die from the freezing weather. Even if you go to the hospital, now the hospital is about 15 minutes from the facility. If you go to the hospital, you can't run away. It's the same thing as running away from the facility. So if I was trying to run away, where, where, why wouldn't I just run from, from the place? Like, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm small and shit. Like, I'm not just gonna be running, chasing bears out here and shit. Like, the fuck would you, like, these people are so fucking dumb. Like, when I tell you so fucking dumb, I, I can't even fucking explain it to you. And so after this two weeks of us being malnourished, not being able to bathe, uh, not being able to fucking speak to anybody, not being able to talk, talk to our therapist, nothing. Not being able to send our parents letters. Now, at this place, you're supposed to be here for around 100 days. So, around three months, right? I was extended. I had to stay there for three months, for, for an extra three months, for no fucking reason. They lied to my mother all because the, the people there seen the Dr. Phil show and knew that I had some steam when I was, that, that I, I had some steam on the internet. So, they wanted me to stay there for an extra three months just to fuck with me. They lied to my mother. Now, you can't, you can't talk to your parents on the phone, right? You only get to see your parents. They get to come to Utah and see you for three days in the, in, on your 50-day mark. Then they get to see you when they come pick you up for graduation. I was sending my mom letters telling, telling her how they, were, they weren't feeding us. They were feeding us food. Like, they would try to feed me peanut butter. I don't fucking eat peanut butter. And I made that clear multiple times. Even when it was time to eat food there, I made it clear multiple times. Like, oh, I don't really like peanut butter. I don't really like peanut butter. And even on the days when I wasn't in trouble, when I was just, like, living my life there, it, whatever's on the menu, you have to take a certain amount of each. And if you don't eat everything that's on your plate, they literally, they, they force you to eat it. Or you could go sit in a desk and face the wall and be fed fucking cornflakes and fucking peanut butter sandwiches and cold ramen. They literally make the ramen 30 minutes before it's time to serve dinner and then give it to you when it's cold. They'll purposely put it in the fridge. Like, these people are fucking evil. When I tell you, I, I can't even explain how. I get it, like, taking the privileges away and stuff, but to a certain to a certain degree. You don't have to fucking not let kids eat 
And I can I, I understand like oh 